Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. It is a beautiful, beautiful day in Ohio. I should say it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Ah, we are outside with Melody's kids. They are just, they were really glad to get out of the house. Let's put it that way. They have had enough house for a while. They are like ready to play, ready to run. It is a beautiful day. We're probably gonna leave them out here for a while today and let them play. I've got a little bit higher kennel out here than normal because we've got our other ones at strategic places that we use them around outside. So I'm hoping they move away from the fence a little bit. So I did some weights for you before I came out and I have no idea if they're gonna play or just enjoy the day and wrestle in the grass like kids. Ah, uh, so 7832 has a neon orange collar on. And it's a male, weighs four pounds, 14.5. Then we have 7843, which is a turquoise collar. And that's the Rottweiler pup. He's down here underneath me, shaking his head. And he is five pounds, seven ounces. <clears throat> Excuse me, 7839 is a red collar. It's a male, weighs four pounds, four, I see, four pounds, 5.6. And 7829 is the pink collared little Rottweiler looking puppy. And that one weighs three pounds, 9.2. And then we have 7841, which is a yellow collared female, weighs four pounds, 5.2. So the, uh, these guys are doing really good. It's hot out here today. They're probably not gonna play out here too long. For them in the sun, it's a lot different. We lost our normal tree, which gave us all of our shade in the play yard. I put that on the hill. So it's going to make it tough for them to get up that little ramp. Maybe they'll figure it out and maybe they won't. Um, golly, they're going to turn six weeks old this week. I think it's Wednesday, but don't hold me to it. And they'll get their six-week shot, and we will start weaning them from their mother. She is starting to growl a little bit when they eat. She doesn't like them in her food. Let me see if I can move to the side a little bit so I can get out of that fence. I'm not used to a tall fence when I do this. I think this one is a 30 inch, and normally we're 24 and we can shoot right over the top of it. This one makes it a little bit more difficult to do that. So um, they are right where they need to be right now as far as um, development, playfulness, social ability, everything checks out just where they need to be at this point. And they're all busy. They're busy. The little female that looks like a Roddy is over here. She's got the pink collar. And let's see who else I can spot. The yellow collar puppy is trying to pick a fight. Here it comes. There you can see it. It's got a, it's biting the tail of the other one. And who's under me? Uh, the turquoise collared puppy is right there in that squabble. There he goes. That's the black one that looks like the Roddy. And the yellow collar is back here in the back. She's coming up the slide maybe backwards. Yep, she's in the slide. There she comes. All right, who else can I spot out here? It gets tough with their collars as long as their hair is getting orange and red are tough i think red is over there by the ball i think that's the it's either the red or the orange it's gonna spin the little thing on the toy who's down underneath me uh, that's yellow so this has got to be either orange or red this one's orange there's the orange one went up thinking about going through the tunnel it didn't Trying to be quiet so they don't sit here and cry. These guys are going to get a, a bath tomorrow. I love this weather. Oh my gosh, this week is so awesome. Our new, uh, it won't be quite so bad when the trees come out in leaves because once they took our big oak tree out, the uh, electric company went through and put all new high power towers up and new lines and they had new measurements for trees 
so they cut my great big tree down at the end of my parking lot which gave us this whole area that we're in was shade so it's going to make it tough for a while figuring out what we're going to do for shade out here but once the leaves come out we're good there goes the yellow one in the tube she says nope i can't do it i can't go through it I think I think this is red coming around the, the tube. I think this is the red collar. Got an ear flip. Yep, that's the red collar pup. I'm so anxious to see these guys when they get a little bit bigger. I think they're going to turn Wheaton. Um, the ones that look like the brown with the red. I'm pretty sure from the looks of them, the way they look now, they're going to be Wheaton. You can tell the dogs in the kennel are having fun. We've got dogs out in the play yard. We had some people here that were came to visit and see potential litters we had coming. Um, so I turned some dogs out to play so everybody's noisy today. But they're loving the weather, that's for sure. Everybody's loving the weather. I'm loving the garden. My rhubarb's up. I love rhubarb pies. I'm getting ready to do a rhubarb pie next week. I think it's about ready to pick. I like it when it's real young. and um, I think mine's up at about a foot and a half tall right now. So blackberries are starting to bloom. Uh, or buds are, I should say. The leaves are coming out. They're not blooming yet. But uh, leaves are coming out. So we'll have a lot of blackberries this summer. I think I have 48 plants. So it, we have blueberry or blackberries out our ears in the springtime and summer. These guys are all on dry food. Uh, they're on Purina, and which if you uh, look for a bag before you come, you're gonna go home with um, oh, about a three and a half to four pound bag of food from us. And they're on the 3220, which is, and my mind just totally went blank. Um, it's called All Stages. But it's Purina All Stages is what they're on if you want to pick up a bag. And they do have that up. I think it's a 30 or 35-pound bag. I would not buy the 5-pound bags. The 5-pound bags are going to cost you a fortune over the first year of this dog's life. So I would stick to the big bags. And uh, we switched to Purina so that it was easy for everyone to find with all of our puppies and our moms. But I still feed a high standard in the kennel to all of our regular dogs but moms and puppies are on Purina when they're up here in the house with us. And puppies are started on Purina when they're little. So that will be easy for you to find. Oh, it says don't knock me down. Oh, oh, almost made it up. Oh, yay, made it up the hill. I've got that sitting on a little bit of a hill, so it makes it a little bit tougher. They're busy, I'll tell you. This is good for them to get out here and run. They needed to do this. Zoom. I think we're down to the last person on this list to take their pick, and then we're going to turn it on live to the general public. So I will get a hold of the last family on the list today, and I think it's their list that we're down to one family to go, and then we will just take the waiting list off and the people off, and uh, we will put them as available to general public. They're like, oh, can't eat enough stuff. Grass and sticks and rocks and all those things. Don't be shocked when your puppy goes home and eats all those assorted yummies that they can find in your yard. Uh, they dig holes. They eat the mud. It's just a dog thing. You're not going to get around it. Unless you put a muzzle on your dog, and that's a miserable existence for a puppy. But uh, they, they use their mouth for everything. Uh, they experiment and try things with their mouth. They taste things with their mouth. They chew on whatever they can chew on. And a lot of that's basically with their teeth because they will cut all of their teeth and lose them by the time they're eight to nine months old. So things that you can give them to chew on are your best bet. Um, we do a lot of rib bones. I do beef bones. Uh, if you got a friend that hunts deer, ask him for the rib bones. Um, 
and they will chew and chew and chew on that and it'll help them cut their teeth. Shank bones are really good. Lots of times you can pick those up from your local butcher. I think, um, I know Kroger does dog bones, I'm pretty sure. And um, don't cook them, do them raw. If you cook them, you run a huge chance of pancreatitis because you change the chemistry of the fat in that, that's on that bone and in the bone marrow. So stay away from the stove and the microwave with those bones, raw only. Uh, they have had raw hamburger, they've had raw liver, they get cottage cheese every day. And people say, why do you do cottage cheese? Well, cottage cheese has tons of calcium, protein, and fat. Fat is your puppy's best friend. So if you're having steaks for dinner and there's a lot of fat on it, you wanna trim the steaks off before you cook them, give the fat to the puppy raw. Do not give it the bones or the fat after you've grilled the steaks. Bad news, you're gonna make your dog sick. So, uh, treats, I would stay away from a lot of store-bought treats. Veggies are great, pieces of apple, green beans, carrots, um, things like that are great. And that way you don't fill them up with blank calories from treats from the store that cost a fortune. A lot of these treats that you buy, if you look how much you pay and how many ounces are in the pound, or I'm sorry, how many ounces are in your bag, some of those treats you will pay more than the price of a filet mignon by the pound if you're buying a pound of those treats. So, um, and people that treat their dogs think they're doing it such a, they're being so nice to it. You're really not. You're best, much better off to stay away from store-bought treats and teach it that carrots and green beans are its best friend. Ice cubes are great. If you teach your dog to eat ice cubes, give him one on the deck or in the grass and let him play with it and chew it up and it'll get to where when he finds out where those ice cubes comes out, every time you get in the freezer or hit, here's your ice machine, it's coming to the kitchen because it wants one. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so for today, I'm out of here. If you have not booked in for puppy pickup, it's time to think about that. Also, um, get your vet appointment in so that you have it for the first three days after you go home from here. Your guarantee states that the puppy needs to be seen within the first three days. If you don't, and two weeks later you go to the vet and you find out you've got an issue, don't call me. I guarantee it if you get it checked while it's young, but once you've had it and you've drug it all around where you shouldn't take it and then call me if you have an issue, I don't cover it at that point. So please, get your vet appointment, make sure this puppy is healthy and everything is great with it, and then still don't drag it around wherever you want. You want to stay away from any place that dogs can be and there could be feces and urine from other dogs because that's where you pick up all disease in parvo. It also lasts in the ground for six months. So just because that doggy park is empty, don't do it until you've had all of your shots. You'll finish about 16 weeks old and then you are much, much, much safer than you are right now because right now um, they'll have they've had their four week Neopar booster which is just a Parvo booster but they will not receive their per first full Parvo and uh, shots puppy shot until they're six weeks old and then if they're here we do it at 9 12 and 15 so we do ours every 21 days otherwise your vet will book you in every 21 to 28 days so anyway, I hope that helps, um, gives you a little bit of insight to scheduling. So please, oh, there goes the policeman. He caught somebody. It's about time they go down our road at about 100 mile an hour sometimes. So um, get your vet appointment. Call me and book in for puppy pickup. And we do not do Sundays. So if you are got to have a Saturday, book in early. All right, I'm out of here, and I hope you've enjoyed their video. They are cute as a button, and I'm dying to see what they turn out like when they're full grown. I love the colors they're turning so far. So have a great week, and I hope you had a great Easter with your family. And I hope you enjoyed the reason for the season, because Jesus is risen. Have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.